Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comics Prepper with a short video about my solar power project. There's uh, many videos out on YouTube, some excellent videos that go into great depth. So this is just a quick summary of a project that I'm working on so I have some solar power for my amateur radio equipment. Uh, I have a 35 watt off-grid solar panel. I have a Sunforce 30 amp charge controller. I have two Optimus deep cycle gel cell batteries and then I purchased a 1500 watt pure sine wave 12 volt to 120 volt AC inverter to power my non 12 volt items so before I go into depth I'm gonna look at a show you here a block diagram that I did of my ideal system that I, I want to have one day I don't have all the parts so up top I have a three panel solar panel array and they're connected in parallel which means the negative terminals of each panel are bussed together and the positive terminals of each panel are bussed together and that negative and po positive connections come down into the charge controller which is the item that regulates the charging rate for your batteries and the charge controller has a negative and a positive lead that comes out and that's those are connected at opposite ends of your battery array to ensure you get a thorough charge across all the batteries and if something goes wrong with your connections you'll get an indication so the negative lead of the charge controller comes in on this side of the battery array and then the positive lead of the charge controller comes in on this side of the battery array and then repeating that for your supply voltage for your equipment at one end of the battery array come off for your 12 volts positive and at the other end come off with your negative lead for your 12 volts DC and then that'll give you a source to power your 12 volt equipment what I don't have up here in this chart or block diagram is an inverter and I purchased this for my non 12 volt items so I can use my solar power to run the inverter which gives me standard 110 volt AC so I can charge my handheld radios and my cordless power tools and things of that nature. So I'm going to pause here for a second and get you a closer view of the individual items. So here's my panel. This is a 35 watt uh, off-grid panel that provides only DC voltage. It doesn't have a microinverter on the back. And in maximum sunlight, this panel will provide two amps of charging current. And then over here, I have two gel cell deep cycle Optimus batteries. I'm going to try to get in here a little closer without wiggling the camera too much. And these are connected in parallel and these batteries are being fed by the Sunforce charge controller that I got on the internet. Now let me see if I throw a switch here. So it's the voltage reading saying that the batteries are at 12.6 volts. So the solar array is connected to the charge controller it's coming up in the green wires and then out of the charge controller there's a red and a black wire which is charging the batteries and then the batteries are actually powering this 12 volt to 120 volt AC pure sine wave inverter and I've done a separate video on the difference between modified sine waves and pure sine wave inverters but in short this inverter does not put out a, a stepping or sawtooth sine wave it actually puts out a sine wave of power that's a mirror image of what the power company is providing you and that's better for your electronics equipment and if you have questions about that uh, take a look at that video and I'll put a link for that down below uh, another item I recommend if you're going to set up a little solar array of course you should have a really good multimeter something like this but for just something to have around your array is a, a simple uh, automobile DC voltmeter uh, just put two wires in the back and you can actually just touch these to the terminals of your your batteries and see if you have any voltages at all I think I pay 10 bucks for this and when I get this all set up I'll have this connected to the system with a switch so I can turn it on and off just to you know check the batteries and make sure there's actually voltage there so this is a cheaper alternative to 
a couple hundred dollar multimeter. So there you have it, that's my, my solar project. Uh, I have one panel that feeds the charge controller. The charge controller feeds the batteries. The batteries are feeding my inverter and as you can see there my inverter right now working off those batteries is charging my DeWalt battery and my ham radio portable handheld battery and there's the block diagram there again so as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel this has been the cons prepper